Hey guys, Cornizoid here with Hooked on History. Today we are in the woods, uh, right on the side of the road. We found a cellar hole. It's right over show here. It. There it is. And we just got here. Mm -hmm. And we just got a signal Literally, almost immediately. Literally like two minutes we've been here. And it looks like the front of a pocket watch. Just a few cool. inches deep. Yep, it was literally right here. That's a great sign. Yeah. Great start. We're using the CTX in here. I was going to bring the dais, but I'm going to try the CTX first. Um, just to see Okay, guys, this is awesome. We just dug a signal. It, how deep was it? Uh, about six inches. And we just popped it out on the shovel. Look at that, we baby. We have a pocket watch. And that's the first full pocket watch. I think it's full, right? It oh, looks the glass is gone. full. Uh, the top is gone. Maybe it's still in there. This is one minute from the pocket watch frame we found, which was right there. I can't believe we just hit these two right off the bat. Wow. wow. <laughs> we said wow at the exact same time. <laughs> that is awesome. I don't think anybody's ever been here, Joe. There's a hole. That's one wicked good start, man. Yeah. The glass might be in there. I'll, I'll take a few shovel loads out yeah, just to see if we can find it. All right, guys, we'll see you at the next. Let me see. This middle piece is loose, so be careful. Okay. How awesome is that? Okay, hold on. Let me see it. <laughs> Looks like it went on there. I mean, it, it was only six feet away. Could be. Maybe on this side? I don't know. Okay, guys, okay, so we'll there's pieces, the um, like I said earlier, there's bottles everywhere. Look at, like, that, for example. Right here. That one, actually, I found. Seam stops before the lip, so it's 1800s. But this is pretty cool. I just found this. It's an old little clear bottle. Um, it says... Omega oil, it's green, and then it says trademark, the Omega Chemical Company, New York. That'd be so cool if it had a date on the bottom. Um, it's got numbers, I can't really read them right now though, because dirty probably not the date anyway pretty cool see you guys on the next guys just checking back in it's almost like a bottle dump in here mm -hmm. everything's busted though i mean i shouldn't say everything we, get, we do have some yeah, we do. that are decent but there's just bottle after bottle all on grade level and deeper but some old glass too mm -hmm. Too. Yep. Need a rake in here. Yeah. Everywhere I put the shovel in, I hit glass. Maybe they were dumping bottles in here. Mm -hmm. Well, okay, we're still looking. Yeah. So, I put the machine down for a little bit. It was just need bottle after bottle. All busted though. Some that aren't very old. Not old. Or actually diamond. Ginger ale. Not old. That had writing on it. Huh? Oh, I thought you found some. No. This one would have been cool. Yeah. No writing though. It's not embossed at all. I did 
did find a jar full. It's blank. There's pottery, Joe. Huh. You wonder why it's all broken. Somebody definitely... What happened to break yeah, it off? Definitely a dump, though. If we could only go a little deeper, we're not ready to... Yeah, we need to, to do come this back today. here. We need to come back here with like a big rake. Busted. I just, the machine, you know, the CTX, uh, just picking up too many signals. It's overloading basically everywhere I swing because a lot of these bottles and mason jars have lids. Yeah, there's a ton of mason jar lids in here. Where? Right there. Found these too. Don't, don't know what these are. Well, actually, you know what, Joe? Oh, whoa, this porcelain has writing. Finally, something with writing that's full. White ground gar patent. Oh, it's got a date, a patent date. 11 22 10. Nice. 19 10. Pretty cool. Oh. That's something different. Yep, that is. 11-22-10. Why does this all have to be broken? Alright no. guys, we are in here. Show the view. Look at It's a dried old, up stream yeah, bed. An old dried up stream bed. And um, we just found an old, old lock. It's muddy. So I can't really wipe there it. There is writing on it. Is there? Flip it. Flip it. I just saw something in the, in the light. Or is that just muck? Yeah, it might just be. Thought I saw writing. There might be on it when we get it cleaned up, but for now, I can't. It's an oldie. Yeah, it's old. Cool. Alright, we're gonna walk up the stream bed, see mm -hmm. if there's anything in here. Oh. Round. Roundness. Four inches. Old little button. Nice. Flat button. Mm hmm I think it may have a design on the front. Let me see. There's a lot of iron in the ground. CTX is struggling. I found a whole bottle, but it was one of those crappy ones that we were finding with bottle caps on them. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, and then I pulled it out, and I was like, oh. This does have something okay, on guys, it. Okay, guys, finally. Well. Yes, found a whole bottle. Scored Nothing a decent in the one. cellar hole. Cellar hole's over there, right by the base of this tree. It's knee-high, necky, uh, minimum, I don't All know, some kind of drink yourself. anyway. But wait, there's a patent date on it. March 3rd, 1925. Down there. It's a cool looking bottle. I seen Nugget Nug and find one of these before. I also just found this too. From 1953. Dubuchet. Alright, you're gonna hurt yourself. Dubois. Don't try. Yeah. You're on video, don't try. <laughs> That's a cool bottle, man. Yeah. Something with writing, finally. Yeah, it's crazy and bossing there too. Okay. We're like 10 feet from the road. We'll have to take pictures of all the bottles we found today because I got a few small ones yep. in my pocket. All right, Pretty we'll see cool. you at the next. Okay, guys, so we're doing a wrap-up. Um, this is the good stuff from the hunt. Um, I'm going to start off an old lock. Too bad it wasn't whole. There is some writing on it. And I wish the, where the key would go and wasn't all rusted, but pretty cool. It's probably our oldest lock. Yeah, I'd say it is our oldest lock. We never found any old locks. Three gears. All different sizes. Pretty cool. 
um, two mason jar lids. We found a bunch of them, but I only brought home two. I was going to say, we found like ten of them. Yeah. I brought home two. These were the nicest. Pretty cool. They Dates, all, too. Uh, no, and I also found porcelain that um, went inside the cap to a mason jar. It They all say mason jar, blah, 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 around the edges. But the coolest porcelain piece was this one. White crown cap. Patent date November 22nd, 1910. We got no sunlight over here right now. Sun's going down, but I can see it. We live in 2210. This was the coolest. Um, part to an old clock. I'm not going to pick it up because it falls apart. <laughs> this, what were you thinking this was? I don't know. It looked like a bearing. It looked like an old. I, I have no idea really, but. I picture like the wheel bearing. It's all—it's lead. Of a wagon. For like a wagon wheel or something, but I could be wrong. I have no idea. I could see it was casted too. Just pops into mind. Mm -hmm. A little dog tag. Can't really read it. It was it, in a stream bed. Yeah, it was in a sh that sh old stream bed. And an old little flat button. Got some kind of design on the front. Not sure exactly what though. Beat up. Very. A lot of iron in the ground there. Mm -hmm. Almost uh, unbearable. Pocket watch. This was really cool. It's one of the nicest we've found. Most intact one we found anyway. Yeah. And then pieces to a different pocket watch. These didn't go to it because this has the rim and everything. And as usual, this was the first dig. A minute after that, this was the second dig. We thought, oh man, this is going to be good. And then it slowed right down. I think it was pretty good, though. Yeah, but it always I mean, happens that way. You get you hit something as yeah, soon as you get out of the find car. Yeah, you a ton of crazy stuff. And, and then it all just comes to a halt. This is pretty cool. Um, this was the top of, like, a jar. So many bottles. There's so much broken glass. Yeah. It's a shame. It's got... 22 in the middle. Not sure if that would be size or whatever. We're going to go back with a rake. Yeah, we're going back with a rake. We're going to take all the branches and leaves and everything out of the way and all the broken glass and we're going to find more. I'm going to be sure we find more. <laughs> Decent hunt. Yeah, these were our two smaller bottles. This was like spices probably. This one looks like perfume. It says um, beach gems, beach gems or whatever. Uh, this, this was pretty cool. Omega Oil. It's green. Trademark. The Omega Chemical Company, New York. Pretty cool. Yep. And there are two bigger bottles. This one has a date on it. 1953. Don't know how to say it. I'm not going to try. <laughs> cool. And then the best bottle. This one cleaned up nice. Knee high. Nine fluid ounces. Made in Bridgeport. Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah. That makes it kind of cool too. Nice bottle. Yep. I just want to read the patent date one more time. March 3rd, 1925. Awesome. Cool. He's playing with a Mario toy. <laughs> see you guys on the next we'll see you on the next